Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, um, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha. I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. Got it. Toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Great light on that one. Perfect. Smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. monitors the health of marine life and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it but the effects these diseases have they're just they are not something any living creature should go through looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish I better take care of it before the food supply is contaminated found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish I just need to spray it over the water 
and fast before people start getting sick. First step, get to the docks. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Friendly neighborhood garbage man. <laughs> These barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. This is a perfect spot to spray. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. It's gotta cover a wide area. will spread it to other fish, which is good, because there's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. More barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them. Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. The downside is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Fishies, this is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider Man, water polluter. Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um... Well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait. My web fluid. 
I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Hey. Whew, the zipline webs seem fine. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. You'd think these people never saw a guy jogging on walls. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius's lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that long. Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. talking about oh sweet web swinging I'll never take you for granted again there's the testing receptacle full of plastic let's see what happens it's working 
Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. I didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. Hey Pete. This station's one of my pet projects. I always thought the cellular network was vulnerable to terrorist attacks, so I set this up to monitor it. Can you do me a favor? Look for anything suspicious? Uh-oh. It's not terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. There. I set my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. The size of the problem area fluctuates. <laughs> That's the downside of all the tech in my mask. That hurt. One down. But I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. I can use those helicopters to swing. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals. Uh, I felt like my eardrums were gonna burst. And soon that'll happen to everyone. Got it. The job's only halfway done. Oh man, I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone except people who use their phones in movie theaters. The problem's getting worse. I'm running out of time. Invisible walls closing in. I feel like a mime. That one fixed. Bought me some time, but I can't slow down. Can't waste a second. Getting to be a tight squeeze. Okay, let's not do that again. Now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe. This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. Got that one. <coughs> this can't be good. 
Good for me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just need a few more samples. Oh, oh, oh that one smelled. <laughs> Just a couple more. <laughs> Looks like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like the old Bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. One down. Keeper. And the hat trick. All set. That'll get a recall ordered, courtesy of your Earth friendly neighborhood Spider Man. monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city's system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread. You know? Whoa. The pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Got it. Even better than duct tape. Just call me the amazing spider plumber. in time. Et voila. All fixed.
got last one. Those won't hold long. The pressure shouldn't be that high. Unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower. And now Oscorp can't deny Harry Station stopped a public utility meltdown. analyzes hazardous chemicals and basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world which <coughs> hopefully they never will oh no someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant and they must have cracked the container because it's leaking from the timestamp on the security cameras it just happened I need to get it back my spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. Thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked vehicles. Reported location is near the theater district. So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. 
Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. They'd weaponize tackiness. can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station's in the clear. test particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Phew. 
That stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. Mm. One down. Uh, nice, it's... <coughs> Breathing this stuff in? Not just a... <laughs> That's it! Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu, and it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration points in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. One more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails, seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume.
Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. And so did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. Wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. So this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it, just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Everything stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing. that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but it's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. 
Gotta get to the lake, stat. Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building. And the tallest one around is Oscorp. I wish I could do this in a lab. There's no time. Jump the gun! Woo! Got it! Now I just have to do it again. I am not eager to repeat that, but I have to. Low enough. Got an itchy web finger. Good work. Now if I can just keep from throwing up. Gotta hurry back to the lake and turn this loose. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. Won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. This station may be safe, because it's helping test an Oscorp military application, cloaking tech. But I don't love using armed drones to test in. Someone might get hurt. Not if I'm the one who tests it. Let's see if I can integrate the cloaking tech with my suit. Success! Uh, energy field interferes with my web gadgets. Not exactly a keeper. Uh-oh. Those armed drones are malfunctioning. They're dangerous. And the self-destruct signal's not working from here. But cloaked, I can get close enough to trigger the destruct mechanism. That drone didn't go far. I'll download its data before I wreck it, so they can ID the problem. Okay, I need to get within 10 meters of the drone to stop it. And I'll need to be cloaked. Nailed it! Now I've gotta go visible again so I can swing to the others. Sorry, 
drone, but your data lives on. Better you than me. Coming, did you? I'm always breaking stuff. Another one bites the dust. Scratch one drone. Are these armed drones even legal? Spidey strikes again. Stealth mode was fun, but it's not worth losing my webs over. Hopefully, Oscorp will figure out armed drones in Manhattan are not a good idea. But I'm not holding my breath. Now they've got the data they need. And the stealth tech is promising, even if it needs work. I think Harry's station is safe. And if they ever work the bugs out, maybe I'll whip myself up a stealth suit. explosion when we were kids? Well, that's what Mom built this station to prevent. It monitors the pressure in the pipes and pinpoints trouble spots. There's a dangerous pressure buildup happening now. I've got to do something about it fast. Oscorp's satellites take seismic images of what's under the streets. If I hit the ground hard enough in the right spots, they can show me the high pressure points. Pressure like this usually means clogged release valves. Once I find them, I should be able to jar the clogs loose with another ground pound. Got my lenses tuned to the research station. High pressure will show up red, normal is blue. Okay, time to move. I've got to drop onto the street hard to generate enough force. Found a trouble spot. Did it. But that's not the only danger zone. I need to locate the other pressure points. Better hit the ground somewhere else to get a reading. I don't have much time. There's the spot.
fixed it. But we're not out of the woods yet. Gotta hurry. My bad. Always helps to take the pressure off. Wish it was that easy for life in general. Harry's station prevented a major explosion. I can't justify closing it down now. Not a bad day's work. My mom was a big believer in the city steam heating. It's better for the environment than fossil fuels, but high pressure can lead to deadly explosions. This station was designed to monitor the pressure in specific buildings. Help me show Oscorp it's worth the cost. Please. Harry's really invested in preserving his mother's legacy. And who can blame him? There's been a sharp rise in the pressure in some nearby buildings. The problem seems to be caused by faulty regulators. I've got to break them off before the pressure gets too high. And the building explodes. The city will replace the regulators I break. There's no time to do this the polite way. Luckily, the regulators are on the exterior. A well-placed web shot should take them out. What do you bet Jameson's gonna lead his show tomorrow with a Spider-Man vandalizes building story? Can't leave any of them. Just takes one to cause a blast. Too many people in these buildings. No time to evacuate. It's up to me. Wrecking these won't cause any serious problems. The city can fix them easily. Okay, better head to the roof and make sure the pressure's vented properly. Nary a peep from my spider sense. Maybe one's safe. I better get out of here before someone asks me to pay for all this. Hey, Pete. Now, this station tracks GPS chips deployed around the city on birds and other wildlife. It collects data on the environment, which Mom wanted, and helps improve GPS on Oscorp tech, which <laughs> Dad wanted. 
So, it's actually probably safe. You know what, bud? I should have remembered to tell you not to bother with this one. Hey, the tech here might help me track my missing spider bot. Those things are too expensive to lose. Okay, I boosted the tracking signal on my other spider bot. Now it can track its brother. I lost the other bot's signal in the park. So that's where I'll need to drop this one. Nothing unusual, just taking my spider bot for a walk in the park. You know, like you do. Okay, it's following the pings from the other spider bot. Let's see where it takes us. I wonder if a kid picked it up and took it home. It is way better than any toys on the market. Yeah, I told the AI to test it in narrow areas, so this pipe makes sense. Oh no, I hope it didn't get run over. New York drivers have no respect for the crosswalk. Looks like it made it quite a ways. Proximity alarm? What? Oh, you got to be kidding me! And if I startle the bird, it'll drop the spider bot and break it. This pigeon's strong. Someone didn't skip wing day at the bird gym. Finally, it's nest. Wait, that's the other spider bot! I busted a feathered kleptomaniac. Now that I know where they both are, time to mount a rescue mission. Harry really did me a solid that time. Wish I could thank him. I got some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out into the world again. Lady in leather. Not the kind you bring home to mother. This station analyzes thunderstorms and acts as a failsafe for the others. Now they're all susceptible to lightning strikes, which would erase their data banks. If they're in danger, they'll automatically transfer their data to Oscorp's servers. Just make sure it works, okay, pal? There's a storm threatening now, and the automatic transfer isn't working. No time to write code now. I'll have to manually link the research station data hubs. Then I need to go to the top of the Oscorp building and align their receivers. First data hub's right over my head. Okay, my lenses should show the other hubs in red. Got it. Gotta make more links in the chain. Man, it's getting bad out here! Got it. Uh-oh. The receiver's energy is giving me a positive charge, which means I'm at a high risk for lightning strikes. My charge is increasing. I gotta move faster or I'll get zapped.
One more down. Can't stop to celebrate. My costume's insulation can protect me a little, but I can't afford many hits. tries to kill me. Scientifically, I know why this is happening, but it's hard not to feel like the universe is against me right now. One giant bug zapper. Getting pretty good at this. Time to admire the view. Slow down, I'll be extra crispy. Gotta aim these away from their satellites and toward each other. That did it! And 
the spider spins a data web. All the research data is going to Oscorp servers. Harry's work is safe, and I can finally get out of this weather. I've already got plenty of the other kind. I just posted a new article. Oscorp announced Harry's research stations are providing valuable data, so they're fully funding them. You're kidding. That's great. I just wish we could tell Harry. He hasn't returned my calls, which is weird. I know how important this is to him. His mom would be so proud. He really stepped up for her. You helped a little yourself, Tiger. You're a good friend. So are you, MJ. And wherever Harry is, he knows that. Can't wait to read the article. <laughs>